The wheels of a moving vehicle can move at different speeds, with some turning faster than others. To maintain vehicle control and braking, speed wheel sensors or ABS sensors are installed in your vehicle. In this video, we're going to break down the symptoms of a bad wheel speed sensor and the common causes behind its failure. First off, let's get a quick idea of what does a wheel speed sensor do. The primary function of the wheel speed sensor is to track how fast each wheel is rotating and sends that information to the ABS control module to adjust braking pressure as needed. If a wheel is about to lock up during braking, the sensor signals the ABS system to modulate brake pressure, preventing skidding and maintaining control. Wheel speed sensor is typically located in the wheel hub. All right, let's jump into the top symptoms of a failing wheel speed sensor. One, ABS warning light. One of the clearest signs of a bad wheel speed sensor is the illumination of the ABS warning light. Since the sensor is directly tied to the ABS system, your car's computer will throw up this warning if something is wrong. Two, traction control light. Many modern cars have a traction control or stability control system that relies on the wheel speed sensors. When the sensor fails, the system cannot accurately detect slipping or loss of traction. As a result, the system triggers the traction control light. Three, inconsistent or pulsating braking. Ever felt your brakes pulse or engage when you didn't expect them to? A bad ABS speed sensor can send inconsistent data to the ABS system, causing it to engage intermittently or at the wrong time, even during normal braking. This may also lead pulsation in the brake pedal as the ABS attempts to apply pressure to prevent wheel lockup. Four, loss of traction control. Traction control uses data from wheel speed sensors to detect when a wheel is spinning faster than the others, which usually indicates a loss of traction, such as on wet or icy roads. A faulty sensor might send incorrect signals, causing the system to either fail to engage or activate when it shouldn't. This results in a loss of traction control. 5. Increased stopping distance. Without proper information from the wheel speed sensor, the ABS may fail to activate during hard braking. In situations where ABS is needed, such as in wet or slippery conditions, the wheels may lock, causing longer stopping distances. 6. Cruise control failure. Cruise control systems in some vehicles rely on wheel speed data from the sensors to maintain a constant speed. If your cruise control stops working or disengages unexpectedly, it could be another sign that your wheel speed sensor is faulty. Now let's talk about why wheel speed sensors fail. There are a few key reasons that can lead to problems. One, dirt and debris. Over time, dirt, mud, and road debris can build up around the sensor, affecting its ability to get an accurate reading. Two, wiring damage. Damaged or corroded wires can interrupt communication between the sensor and the computer. Three, sensor wear and tear. Like any other car part, Wear and tear can cause the sensor to fail over time for accidents or impact. Lastly, a sensor can be damaged by physical impact, like hitting a curb or pothole. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, you might need to replace the sensor. While it's always best to have a professional check it out. That's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.